Good morning, fellow travelers. Uh, today I have a, uh, another product uh, review for you. Uh, this is a very lightweight uh, tripod for a smartphone. And plus it has several other exciting features to it. And we'll start right after this. <laughs> Okay, uh, my name is John Bell. I'm a retired school teacher and a full-time YouTuber. Uh, this uh, product, uh, I'm going to go over to my uh, uh, my desktop camera. There we go. <clears throat> okay, this is a uh, um, tripod. Okay, you can see here I purchased this on September 4th. Okay, a couple weeks ago. And uh, in addition to it being a tripod, it also has a remote and the ability to use it as a selfie stick. Pretty neat. And it will, uh, it's compatible with iPhones and Androids, okay, for the remote. However, there are some differences. I'll get into that later. Okay. And so, now I'm going to uh, set up the overhead. I'm going to show you everything that's in it, comes with it, and uh, what the pros are and the cons are of it. And uh, we'll be starting uh, right now. Okay, uh, it comes in a box like this when you, when you first get it. Okay, and inside that box is a um, over-the-shoulder carrying case for it. It's a synthetic cloth. Uh, it has a uh, stopper on it to close it. And then, of course, you can has a string that you can throw over your shoulder. Okay, it also comes with a, a charging unit for the remote. Now, this is a... Uh, USB 2.0, uh, USB A 2.0 to a USB micro. It's very similar to your cell phones. Okay, you could use a cell phone charger to charge this if you like. And of course, it has an instruction booklet here about the wireless remote, how to make it a selfie stick, the universal mount clip, and a thank you. Okay. Now, to hold your cell phone, it has this gizmo here, which is spring-loaded. I, myself, do not like these because my cell phones have things on them, like cases and holders and things, so it gets to be very cumbersome to try and put that in there. So, I would have rather seen if they would give me something like this. This is a newer, okay, adjustable by a screw. So, this is much more versatile than this, okay? And they both have a quarter 20 threads on the bottom to attach it to the top of the tripod. Now, the tripod itself has the... Uh, has a, a locking mechanism here that then will let you to uh, move the ball head. Okay. And lock it down. Uh, the leg releases are just one step. Pull them out. Okay. And then lock it. I'll collapse this back again. Very well made, although it is almost all plastic. Now down here you can see here we have a little remote on here. Okay, uh, the remote with an Android phone, you have the ability to take photos with this and also zoom in and out. Okay, 
zoom your camera in and out. Now, I don't like zooming my camera in and out because you lose clarity in the picture. But if, you know, you want to be able to zoom, might be the way to go. Now, with a iOS phone, uh, you don't have the ability to zoom in and out, only to take pictures. Or, if you set up the iOS app on your iPhone to record video, then when I press this, it will start the video. Otherwise, if I set the phone for pictures, then when I press this, it will start pictures. Now, this is handy in two ways. Number one, if this is fully extended into a selfie, and I'm holding it down here, uh, I have to have a way of snapping that picture. Okay, so this, this is how it would be right here. Um, I would have liked to have seen this be all aluminum construction, but it would more than double the price. Uh, on Amazon, I, like I showed you, it's currently unavailable. I paid $16.99 for this. Okay. So, uh, let's see. What else is up here? Um, <clears throat> okay. Now, remember I told you this is a tripod, but it has other uses? So, now I'll mention a little bit about that for you. Um, number one, it has a quarter 20 thread here that this uh, cell phone holder screws to. Now, there might be a few of you out there that said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If this has a quarter 20 thread here, okay, I could use that for a DSLR. And because it has on the bottom of it a quarter 20 thread. And I would say you're absolutely right. Okay, if it were a point and shoot camera, uh, an M50 mirrorless camera by Canon, just lightweight, or I would say up to an SL2, okay, which is starting to get a little bit more weight. I would not put like a 1DX on here or any heavy camera with a long lens on it and everything. Remember, this is plastic. Now, it'll go to 51 inches, but it has a small... Um, It has a small tripod base on it, okay, and it will, uh, it, the plastic is well made, it, it goes back in very smoothly without pushing it or anything, and the gravity will, will collapse this, um, however, I wouldn't put too much weight on it, that's all I'm telling you, and uh, remember, you do have the remote, okay, that when this is extended all the way full, you know, you, uh, that's 41 inch extensions, uh, you have the ability to snap pictures. Now, myself, I don't take selfies when I'm traveling because, like, for instance, this, I can always add my selfie into the actual screen recorder. So why why bother taking a selfie? Okay, I'd ra much rather take the, um, the pictures of the objects that I'm looking at, the attractions, the, the monuments, the buildings, uh, the transportation, lodging, whatever it is, restaurants, you know. Uh, that is much more important to me. Now, my uh, overall impressions of this, okay, I would, um, this is very, very lightweight, okay, but I would rather have paid double the price and got an aluminum one rather than the plastic because we all know what's going to happen with the plastic. 
I'm going to drop it. It's going to bust off something. It happens, you know. Um, but overall, I give it a thumbs up. Okay. Uh, I would rate it probably about uh, three and a half stars. Uh, probably be closer to four and a half stars if it was aluminum. Uh, and if it had a better camera mount, like this one with a screw on it, okay? I, you know, these are plastic too. I don't, you know, I don't know why. It can't cost that much more than the one that they, one that they give you with it, you know, which is, uh, um, you know, a, a stretch one. These are really a pain, okay, to operate with. And, of course, you have a quarter 20 screws on the back of it, a quarter 20 screws on the end of it, so you can mount it like this. You can mount it like this. So you got, uh, uh, you know, you can have it, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, this, oops, excuse me. You know, this would be landscape for your cell phone. Okay, you could also mount it like this, and then turn the head, okay, and then you'd have, um, like this, then you'd have, uh, portrait mode on your cell phone, either way. Uh, overall, a, a, a good product, I got it right away, uh, shipping was fast, uh, I got it from, through Amazon, um, and I, uh, I think it's a very good product, and uh, that's why I chose to uh, buy it and also do the review on it. Uh, so until next time, this is John Bell, signing off. This is John Bell, thanking you for watching reviews. If you see this on Facebook, please like it. If you see it on YouTube, please subscribe. Until the next time, I wish you good luck and good night. May God bless.